ionization energy. So ionization energy is how much energy you need to rip an electron off of an atom. And it's important because when you start ripping electrons off of atoms, they start to react with each other and stick together to make compounds. You can get a trend for ionization energy from the periodic table. The ionization energy increases as you go to the right on the periodic table and as you go up on the periodic table. So as you go up and to the right, it gets harder to rip an electron off of an atom. So here the question says, select the element in each pair with the higher ionization energy. So first, which has a higher ionization energy, chlorine or iodine? So if you look on the periodic table, chlorine is in the top right. Below it is iodine. Because chlorine is higher up, it has a higher ionization energy. It's harder to rip an electron off of chlorine, a chlorine atom than it is to rip an electron off of an iodine atom. How about magnesium or, and barium? Which one is it harder to rip an electron away from? In other words, which one has a higher ionization energy? So magnesium is here, barium is just below it. Because magnesium is higher up, it has a higher ionization energy, and it's harder to rip an electron off of magnesium, off of a magnesium atom, than it is to rip an electron off of a barium atom. How about silicon or carbon? Which one has a higher ionization energy? Let's take a moment. Silicon is uh, one of the most abundant elements on Earth. Uh, the, it is part of sand. Sand is silicon dioxide. And as silicon dioxide, it makes up around 59% of the Earth's crust. Now, you can melt that sand and make glass, as you can see here. Sand melts at around 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and when you melt it, you can see in this still image the glass that has formed. And depending on the other molecules that might be sprinkled in there, the, the sand that can start uh, crystallizing into different minerals, and so these are called silicates. Depending on the different ingredients that are sprinkled in, they're different colors, and they can be very beautiful. So of these, sil between silicon and carbon, which one is harder to rip an electron away from? Which one has a higher ionization energy? There's silicon there, just above it is carbon, because carbon's higher up, you can, it's harder to rip an electron off of carbon. Carbon has the higher ionization energy. Which has a higher ionization energy? Sulfur or phosphorus? Sulfur is here, phosphorus just to the left. Because sulfur is further to the right, it has the higher ionization energy. It's harder to rip an electron off of a sulfur atom than it is to rip one off of a phosphorus atom. These questions are asking the same thing, but in a different way. They say place the elements in each set in order of increasing ionization energy. So that's going to be from the lowest ionization energy to the highest ionization energy. So which, what is that for iodine, chlorine, or bromine? Well, iodine is here, just above it is chlorine, and in between is bromine. Because iodine is the furthest down, it has the lowest ionization energy. And because chlorine is the highest up, it has the highest ionization energy. So to list those from lowest to highest, in increasing order, it would be iodine, bromine, and then chlorine. What if you had sodium, magnesium, and aluminum? If you wanted to order those in increasing with increasing ionization energy? So Sodium is here, followed by magnesium, and then aluminum. So because sodium is the furthest to the left, it has the lowest ionization energy. Because aluminum is the furthest to the right, it has the highest ionization energy. And so listing them from lowest to highest, you'd have sodium, magnesium, and aluminum. What if you had lithium, potassium, and cesium? How would you list those in order of increasing ionization energy? Lithium is there, potassium is beneath it, cesium is beneath that.
Because cesium is the lowest down, it has the lowest ionization energy. Because lithium is the highest up, it has the highest ionization energy. So to list these elements from lowest to highest ener ionization energy, you'd put cesium, then potassium, then lithium. So cesium is the easiest one to rip an electron off of, and lithium is the hardest one to rip an electron off of. What if you had gallium, calcium, and bromine? Gallium is there, potassium there, cal calcium there, and then bromine here. Because calcium is the furthest to the left, it's going to have the lowest ionization energy. Because bromine is the furthest to the right, it's going to have the highest ionization energy. And to list those elements in increasing ionization energy, you'd have calcium, then gallium, then bromine. So it's easiest to rip an electron off calcium and hardest to rip an electron off of bromine. Thank you for your attention.